I like those summer dresses that have the low dip in the back. Well, I found a website that shows you exactly how to make a dress like that. And I wanna share it with you. So I saw this picture online and I clicked on it. And it took me to this site, collectivegen.com. And it is a tutorial for a backless maxi dress. So as I was looking through it, I was like, huh, this looks pretty easy. It only requires four pieces, a front, back, a ruffle, and a strap. The strap isn't pictured here. But the front and the back are 45 inches wide. And then you make these triangles, which are two inches across and eight inches down. And I was like, okay, I think I can give this a try. And I think what I wanna do is make the front and the back piece the same so instead of having a full cornered off piece here I'm gonna make this side have the same triangles as the front piece so I'm essentially gonna have two front pieces and I'm gonna put them together and make one dress the ruffle says to make it at least three times the dress hem and I've seen ruffles that are a little less than that. So I guess it's, you know, kind of your preference. And the strap that goes through the front and back of the dress is 45 inches long. But the directions do say that the length of the strap determines how low the dress will hang in the back. Once everything is all done, this should be the finished look in the back and this will be the finished look in the front. And I'm excited to give this dress a try. So I'm using this rayon tinsel fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. I'm making the front piece and the back piece 45 inches wide. So I drew a line here that is 22.5 inches wide and I wanted it to be 40 inches long so I drew a line here 40 inches down and then I measured two inches across eight inches down and I drew a triangle and I'm going to cut this out and this is going to be one front piece and then I'm going to do the same thing for the back piece Now, after I cut out the other piece, then I'm going to take this edge here and clean it up. So I'm gonna fold this back on one side, and then I'm gonna fold it on this side, just so these edges can be clean. And then I am going to take this edge, fold it down, and create a casing and then after that i will put the front and the back pieces together so i cut the strap out about 46 inches long and maybe an inch and a half wide for the ruffle i cut a six and a half inch wide fabric piece and it's about two yards long. I'm going to sew these edges together and create one big long loop and then gather it up and attach it to the bottom. Okay so so far so good I think. Now I'm going to get ready to put the ruffle on the bottom. So I finished the raw edge and then I put my basing stitches in and now I'm going to pull those up to create the gathers and then attach them to the bottom of the dress. Okay, the dress is all 
done. I just need to put this on so you can see what it looks like. I am so happy with this dress. I love it. Not only was it easy to put together, but it is extremely comfortable to wear. Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share. So California has an inmate firefighting program where inmates can actually help battle wildfires. 